simple, but I found a way, I found a way. And I always thought that it'd be too crazy, but I found a way, I found a way. Hey Sarah, I'm Lauren Davis and I'm Amber Salas and, and welcome, welcome to today's line report. report. Today is election day, Jay Sarah. That's right, so that means for all of you out there eligible to vote, make sure to stop by your nearest polling booth and submit your vote. This is huge as these very votes will go down in history on deciding our next 45th president and our 48th vice president. Very true, and I bet you're all wondering why we're in our cheer uniforms, right? Well, today is actually 8th grade visitation day and we are over earlier performing for all the 8th graders. That's right, so if you see any 8th graders on campus, make sure to say hi. Now let's start it off with Aiden on today's announcements. What's going on, Jay Sarah? I'm your resident idiot, Aiden Kelly, back at it again with a new announcement, so let's talk about some announcements. So first up, we have the Read to Heal Club's book drive, which is a great, which is a great charity, great drive. You get to turn in books and DVDs and yeah, it goes to a great cause, great charity. If you would like to turn in any books or any DVDs of any kind, just go to the Nicest Woman Alive, Mrs. Hemphill's room in 3208 and do it by November 10th. <laughs> also in charitable news, we have, the, we have the Sarah's Pantry Drive, which is until November 18th. And yeah, you get to turn in uh, like food and like essentials and stuff like that. It's really cool. And if you want to do that, just go to room 3104 in Mrs. Mrs. Nguyen's room. Yay. If you want more details about what stuff you can bring in, just look around. The, there's posters all around the school, and the class who turns in the most stuff will get a free lunch. <laughs> there's a lacrosse meeting tomorrow at 3 in the Lion's Den. I don't even know where that is. And for upperclassmen only, for one week only, you can buy a long sleeved spirit shirt. What? Let's go find Mrs. Chenault. And you buy it for $12, and you need to buy at least, I believe it's 32. We need at least 32 orders in order to buy it. So. And next up, we have the Environmentality Club, who is doing, they are doing a bottle pickup at 7.30 on Thursday. And be sure to go there if you're in the Vi Environmentality Club, because you can get service hours for it. It's pretty dope. And last but certainly not least, we have a UC application workshop at 7.30 a.m. in room 1242. 1242, there you go, Aiden, you're good at numbers. A UCI admissions director will be there to discuss the application, so if you actually want to get into a school that doesn't suck, you should definitely go there. And I can't walk any further because the line's gonna get stuck. <laughs> And there you go. That's all I have for you today, Jay Sarah. I actually don't need this anymore. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Aiden. Hey, Lauren, do you remember anything about freshman year? Well, of course, freshman year was new and exciting. Well, I definitely have some great freshman memories as well, even though I can't believe that was already three years ago. I wonder if anyone else would like to share their freshman memories. Well, it turns out Maddie Hessen made a segment all about it, so let's go check it out. Freshman year, my most embarrassing moment was when I accidentally walked into the girls' bathroom the first day of school. The most embarrassing thing that happened in freshman year was when I wanted to ask this guy to formal, and then I chickened out and I asked his friend, and his friend said no in front of the whole table, and I went stag. Uh, freshman orientation, I came to school and there's an inappropriate picture on the back of my white shirt. In my freshman English class, this kid was drinking a naked juice behind me, and he took a big swig of it, and I made him laugh, and he spit it on the back of my head, and I thought it was throw up. Oh, you nasty. My whole freshman year was pretty embarrassing, so, like, everything. What you got now? Come and make it worth my while. Give it to me, I'm worth it. Ready? I can walk. My freshman year, I got asked to formal by a banana. I fought on the bleachers in Bertha Military School at the basketball game. I pushed her. <laughs> um, I missed the whole third quarter, and then the day I came back, I got dumped by my brother and his friends. <laughs> I ran into a glass door. My freshman year in Spanish class, I didn't know the difference between a country and a continent was, and I still don't know. South America, North America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Antarctica, and Australia. <laughs> that was hilarious.
Julius. Thanks, Madison. Well, speaking of freshman year, do you remember when our lockers were down when the new lunch tables are? Of course, that was definitely our hangout freshman year. Well, I've heard there's, going a, there's a lot of problems going on with freshmen leaving their lockers unlocked. Oh no, that is a big do not. Well, let's go see what happens when you leave your locker unlocked. Hi, Lions. As you can tell, I think the freshmen don't know how to lock their lockers. You know, you close it and then you lock it. But as you can tell, no one understands that that's how lockers work. I mean, it's just like a row of unlocked lockers. I could come in here, take this, and you would never see it again. So, freshmen, if I were you, I would lock your locker. Everyone, make sure to keep those lockers locked. So Lauren, what do you do when you're not devoting all your time to Lion Report? You mean my hobbies? Exactly. <laughs> Honestly, when I go home, all I do is sleep. That is so true. <laughs> well, let's go check out Kennedy's segment on people's different hobbies. Hobbies. By me, Kennedy Carter. Everybody has a hobby or two. It is usually based on their personality type. Some people use sports as their hobby, but more hobbies can include art, music, or acting. People like to do all different things, which makes them unique. Hobbies can make someone super happy, which is why they do them. A lot of people keep the same hobby throughout their whole life. Me personally, I play soccer and I've been playing since I was young. I enjoy running around with a bunch of other girls on a field and being competitive. I also like other sports. It keeps me fit and I enjoy being on a team. Some people use hobbies to help them in life. They can use the skills they learn through the hobby to succeed in life. Overall, hobbies can basically make you who you are. They can define you as an individual which separates you from others. So go ahead, love your hobby or hobbies and keep being you. Thanks, Kennedy. All right, well, that's going to do it for today's show, Jay Sarah. I'm Amber Salas. And I'm Lauren Davis. And, and this, this has been The Lion Report. Get voting, Jay Sarah!